A History of the Atom Timeline by kscience.com The history of the atom can be divided into very key milestones which we're going to place on a timeline. And it starts 2,500 years ago with a man called Democritus. Democritus came up with the term atomos, which means atom in ancient Greek. Democritus hypothesized if you have a piece of stone and you cut it in half and then you cut it in half again and you keep on cutting it in half, eventually you'll get to a point that's so small that is indivisible and you can no longer cut it in half. And he termed this the atom, but in ancient Greek, atomos. In the 1800s, there was an English chemist called John Dalton. In his theory of the structure of the atom, he said atoms resembled snooker balls as they were tiny, hard, indestructible, and there was nothing smaller than the atom. But we know this is wrong because atoms are made of protons, neutrons, and electrons. In 1897, the plum pudding model was released by a man called J.J. Thompson. J.J. Thompson said, the plum pudding, which is an English dessert traditionally served at Christmas, where there are raisins embedded throughout a sponge. He said, this plum pudding could be used to represent the structure of the atom. As he said, the atom consists of a sphere of positive charge, where these blue circles represent the negative electrons embedded throughout. In 1909, Rutherford and his team conducted the famous gold foil experiment, which consisted of an alpha gun, a very thin piece of gold foil, surrounded by a fluorescent screen to detect the alpha particles. When the alpha gun fired the alpha particles, the majority went straight through. Some were deflected to the side and very few were deflected straight back, only one in 8,000. Rutherford used these results to improve Thompson's plum pudding model. Rutherford said the structure of the atom consists of a very small and dense, positively charged nucleus, where the electrons orbit the nucleus in random paths, and in between the nuclei, of atoms is empty space. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. In 1913, Mosley discovered the atomic number. He fired high energy electrons at different elements, which all released different amounts of X ray energy. Mosley plotted his results on a graph, where on the X axis is energy and the Y axis is atomic number. The results showed him the amount of X ray energy released is proportional to the atomic number. So Mosley came to the conclusion the atomic number must be the number of protons an atom has. In 1914, Niels Bohr came up with the atomic model which we know of today. He said there are two electrons orbiting the first shell, eight electrons orbiting the second shell, and another eight electrons orbiting the third shell. He improved Rutherford's model of the atom by saying electrons are in fixed energy levels at set distances from the nucleus. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
1932, Chadwick discovered the neutron. Chadwick's discovery built on Bohr's model of the atom, where the nucleus is at the centre of the atom and there are shells which contain electrons at set distances from the nucleus. The blue circles represent the neutrons discovered by Chadwick and the red circles represent the protons. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.